new backdrop, it's summer, I'm outside. I'm enjoying it while I can. Midwest winter is just around the corner. And I know it. I want to take a few minutes to give a video response to a lot of emails that I've been getting, because I've been getting a lot of uh, similar emails. I've been getting a lot of things that are, you know, people sending me the same kind of thing over and over again. So I figured that sending you guys one big response like this would be a good idea. So let's try to make this one a quickie, eh? First thing I want to hit up is the paintball ban in Germany. Yeah, I know it's dated news at this point, but it kind of still needs to be talked about. Uh, from all I could tell and from the research that I did, it was a knee-jerk response from the German government about a school shooting where some guy went psycho and uh, borrowed, grabbed his father's pistol and started shooting people. So as a result of it, kind of like what happens in America when there's a school shooting, there's a knee-jerk reaction of ban all guns, ban everything that looks like a gun, ban everything that's bad, and they started including paintball on that list. So as of May, which is the most current information I have on this, there is no plan to ban paintball in Germany. Now, this is, if this has changed, somebody please tell me, give me a link, give me something that I can work with here, and I'll update this with a little balloon underneath here or something. But this whole thing has me asking one very basic question. Why are we surprised at this? I don't know, maybe it's just me, because I've got so many years of experience, and I've actually dealt with people who are uh, the, the, this type of mentality. But when you're talking about paintball, you're talking about one inescapable truth about the game. You can put people in the brightest clown suits that you want to. You can put them, you give them pink markers. You can call it a marker. You can say eliminations. You can do all the window dressing on it that you want to, but you're not going to avoid one basic principle. We use guns and we shoot at people. It's this very fact alone that places like the NRA won't even touch paintball because it breaks one of the fundamental rules of firearms, and that is you do not point a gun at a person, but we do. So as far as I'm concerned, we have two ways that we can deal with this. We can try to go overly PC like we did back in the 90s, and that kind of worked a little bit, not, not a heck of a lot. Or we can just embrace it and say, yeah, we use paintball guns, we shoot at people, but it's not warlike and this, that, and the other thing, and put a different kind of spin on it than we have in the past. But then again, I've also had to deal with people in my face screaming that I was a warlike militant little SOB because I enjoyed playing paintball and tiger strike camouflage. And actually, that brings me to point two on this one, and that's somebody else, and I keep on getting emails like this, too. Uh, he sent me a link to this video over here, and he said, Dude, you got to rip this guy apart. He has no idea what he's talking about, and yada, 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 yada. Yeah, um, about that. I've had problems with Rap 4 in the past, uh, the, just the company that made the video in question here, uh, especially something like uh, Operation Paintball Island. I got a link over here in case you're interested. But one thing I really don't want to do is I do not want to turn this channel into Tiger bashes on a bunch of products that he's never actually physically handled and knows very minimal stuff about, but he's going to bash it anyway because he thinks it's a bad idea. If that's the kind of thing you guys want, just go over to PB Nation and, you know, get it there because they do it much better than I ever possibly could. That, and they wanted me to tear this guy apart because, oh, he has no idea what he's talking about. He has no idea what he's doing. Well, you know, not everybody's comfortable looking at the one-eyed stare. Not everybody can set up a camera and start talking to a camera and giving information like this. It takes practice to do this. If you don't believe me, grab a video camera and try doing a rant yourself without using the word, um... Uh, well, um, I got this, like, um, really nice gun, and, like, um, I got, like, uh, this, this, like, really cool hopper on it, and, um, uh, then I got, like, this, uh, tank to, like, um, sound familiar? Yeah, thought so. And kind of on the same theme, I want to answer the last thing here, and that is people are say, sending me emails of, uh, hey, you coming to this game? You coming to, you coming to D-Day? You coming to Ion? You coming to all these events? And short answer is no. Long answer is, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the resources to just pick up and travel a couple thousand miles to go play a weekend of paintball. I, I, I just, just, I don't got it in me right now. Now, if somebody wanted to bankroll me, I'm more than open to taking, uh, you know, if you want to give me your money to go do these paintball events, contact me through here, and I'll be more than happy to take your money. I make no promises, but I'll be more than happy to take it. I don't know, you think the government would give me a bailout? I mean, they've given bailouts to all these major companies. Can I get a paintball bailout? Maybe maybe like a video producer's bailout? That'd be kind of nice. And knowing my luck, I'll ask them for a video bailout, and they'll send me a videotape of a couple thousand dollars in stacks. Yeah, I can see how this is going to work. All right, so there you have it, a very quick video response. And uh, hopefully, I'll keep these up, and uh, you guys want to keep on watching paintball stuff? I'll put some more paintball stuff out there. There's a couple projects in the works. That's all I'm going to say about that right now because I don't want to curse it and I don't want to jinx it. So catch you guys later.